Greg here from the Caddis Fly Shop, Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Uh, today I'm going to be tying this nymph here. This is Lance Egan's Rainbow Warrior Perdigon. A very simple fly to tie. He ties it in different sizes. Today this is a size 18. I'm using the Hannock 480 Barbless uh, Jig Hook. And I'm using a gold bead, 3.3 uh, millimeter. This is on the heavier side or bigger side uh, bead for this pattern. But Lance Egan will go three and a half down the 2.2, just depending on the uh, depth of water and speed of water that you'll be fishing. Very easy fly to tie. For the tail, I'm gonna be using some CDL, uh, Coq de Lyon. Uh, I'm gonna be using some tinsel today i'm just using ucc uh, pearl in the size large i'm using a little bit of uni thread and eight dot you can use utc you can use vivis your favorite thread and um to finish it just a little bit of uv uh, glue i'm using loon flow here this is kind of the medium viscosity uh, perfect for uh, these type of patterns Let's get started. If you do uh, use your favorite jig hook, uh, pinch those barbs, especially if you're catching and releasing. I'm just gonna put that in my vise there and I'm gonna do exactly what Lance Egan does on this pattern. All right, I'm gonna start off with the uh, thread base all the way to the hook bin. Trim that off. I'm gonna pull off, I don't know. I usually like a little bit defined tail. So I usually pull off about a pretty good chunk. I guess, I don't know, maybe four or five, maybe six fibers. And I want my tail to be approximately the size of my body. Do one loose wrap right on the back, around the hook bend. And I'm gonna bring those feathers <clears throat> right to the front there. This way we're maintaining a nice, small, and even uh, body. Uh, Pertigons are usually pretty thin. Sometimes people like to give a little taper. That's okay. Uh, you could do really whatever you like. Uh, the next thing we're gonna be using is this tinsel. You can use medium, you can use small. I like large, it's fewer wraps. It's much easier to tie, just faster. I'm gonna tuck that in right there behind the bead to kind of start north towards me and then as i wrap it you can see it turns onto the top i'm going to take that back to the hook bin i straighten out those tailing fibers as well and then once i get there i'll bring that back to the front Then I'm gonna do, I don't know, about three or four wraps. There's one with a little bit of tension, two, three, and four. Lock that off with a couple of tight turns in the front. One, two, three, and four. Lock that off and get in there nice and close. Trim that off. From here, basically the fly is done. We're gonna build up a little hot spot here, collar just with the thread, come back a little ways and just a nice little taper and uh, lock that bead in. You can see here, just very simple fly to tie and uh, a little hot spot. Wow, it's just really amazing. I'm gonna wrap that until my bead's nice and tight. I'm gonna check it, then I'm gonna just take my whip finisher I'm just gonna do a four or five whip finish. There it is. And that fly could be fished as is right there. But the UV glue will make this fly uh, much more durable. I'm just gonna squeeze this out just a little bit, rub that on, just like so. And I'm gonna spin that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, Zap that with my torch, my UV torch, and uh, you're good to go. 
Uh, you can tie these as small as 20s. Um, and go as large as 14s if you really want to. Uh, I'm just going to kind of rub that around. And uh, there you go. And I'll zap that with my torch. Lance Egan's um, Rainbow Warrior Pertagon. Give him a shot.